the Jeep trail to Crystal Mill starts out alongside Little Beaver Lake, which is a lovely little place for fishing and children to play. And then our trail continues on up the hill into those far mountains. The road climbs nicely through Aspen Forest, past some summer cabins. We have woodcutters on the side. And we have people who will hike the five miles or so to the mill. They park here. A year ago summer, I brought my BMW 650 out this road, which it was a successful ride, but I certainly would not want to do it in a heavier bike, although I am sure many people do. But for us, tootling along in the truck is just fun. I get to carry my coffee in my hand, and Emmeline gets to run from window to window looking out and smelling things. can see it isn't a terrible load, but it is no place for a Prius or a sprinter van. As you can see, the road pitches forward here, comes around the corner. I, being safe side Clyde, go to low range first gear that helps prevent my having to hit the brakes and having some uncontrolled sliding which, as you can see, by peering to the right, is not a recommended course of action.
this is the dam forming Lizard Lake. Motorboats are prohibited on this lake, just in case you ever thought you might tow your water ski boat up here for a few laps. It is a lovely little and popular swimming and fishing hole. And being a one lane road, we'll see how this goes. This guy brought his Honda up here, and he thinks he's given me enough room to get by. But I don't think he has. But he's sitting there. Well, we'll go up and we will take a look. But I think I can get by him. Although, let's see what happens. A tight fit. Yeah, just a little bit. That's why I was like, I hope I'm good, man, because I'm gonna hope this and hope for the best. You're pretty close. You don't have a lot of clearance to come up here. No, it's uh, eight and a half is my lowest, but I thought I'd try it anyway, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, just just watch the bumps. That's that's exactly it. Sir. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Sure. Oh, how fun all this is. And here we have what appear to be probably, well, yeah, they are hikers. How you doing? Thank you. Hi. I was going to let you go swimming, but I don't want to disturb the fishermen. Hi. Well, I was going to let her take a dip, but I don't think that would improve your chances. Probably not. So, she'll stay in. Take care. Gosh, that was a busy place. Again, low range, first gear. I don't know what we do if we meet a vehicle. That is an advantage in coming midweek, you have less chance of meeting a vehicle. Weekends, this trail can be pretty impacted. It's the old can't see the ground because of the hood in the way that sometimes causes problems. Like if there's a shelf drop off of some sort. This road is traveled so frequently, I'm sure those kinds of obstacles have been knocked away. Below us to the side is the Crystal River which is a lovely stream.
little bit of a stream crossing. There's a spring on the upside coming out of the tailless slope. Crystal River is running pretty as a picture. The trees are just beginning to turn. These are cottonwoods, aspens, more aspens than cottonwoods, I think. Another week or two till the height of the season. Of years ago a giant avalanche swept down through here and knocked good sized trees down. They had to actually carve the road through here. Through snow banks that lasted well into July. Well, it's a Land Rover, but it has street tires and not much lift to it. Thank you. Looks like you've had a good trip out here. can see they're set up for an expedition. They've got their water containers, their handhelds. <laughs> I didn't mean to run you up the side of the hill. Good. We just want to give you space. <laughs> right. You're bigger Have than a great day. You too. Getting a bit more color in here as our elevation increases. This section is a bit of a shelf road. I don't know how well you can see to the right. But I'm 
sure you can see that it is no place for daydreaming. We're getting near the old mining area. You can see the retaining wall. There was probably once some sort of processing mill up that way. Here was, again, a massive avalanche. I think this was three years ago. You can see that the avalanche brought down a lot of rock. You see that on the right. On the left, you'll see a lot of wood. And this area, too, had high snow banks on it. In August of two years ago, 20. 21 and the road had to be cut out with loaders so that folks could drive up Some of it gets a little tippy, but take it slow. Don't roll off into the river. Another pleasant Aspen tunnel Sort of. We are still climbing an elevation. Fairly close to the Crystal Mill site. It's a good thing they put the slow sign here just in case somebody wanted to speed. to your right. Tourists. Lots of tourists. A 
as you can see we're looking at the crystal mill the road does lead on beyond the crystal mill we'll head up this way cross a bridge and go into the old town